This is an exciting one, folks. We have River, also known as Imposter OCE, up against Big Will. Big William. River is quite a newcomer, very new to the game, but achieving great results in Mushi League, impressing a lot of a lot of people, myself included, with some some good team building, some good gaming. And Big Will has been around for quite a while, but recently having a bit of a a star run, getting some good upsets in ADVPL and stuff like that, getting some good wins. Seeing a big spike in improvement recently, so this is an interesting matchup that I'm sure will be fun. Going for a Fire Blast on turn one with your Tyranitar. Perhaps trying to catch a Skarmory incoming, but it was a Swampet. Sidestepping that Fire Blast very simply. Swampet's Hydro Pump doing some solid chip damage to a Skarmory, but that Skarmory is going to establish that ever crucial layer. It's all about the layers, folks. And now in comes a Celebi. It looks like a Skarmory Celebi. Spikes type thing. Celebi can be a good Spikes abuser. But folks, it's a Drill Peck Zapdos. That has completely caught River off guard. Bringing Celebi pretty much on death's door. Celebi even went for a Giga Drain. Trying to predict something coming in on the Spike. Getting some damage, but no. And goes for a thunder good move, the Thunderbolt. Probably would have KO'd the Celebi after Sand and also cover a switch in. Thunder Waving Jirachi, unfortunately you got Body Slam Parried at 60%, you can't complain. But this Zapdos has done considerable work early game here. Weathering the storm very much, that Celebi was going to be a huge threat, especially against your Swampet and your Cloyster revealed here. Tyranitar with Toxic on it, not, not the most commonly seen thing on Earth. Good set, of course, but... That's going to apply pressure to this Cloyster. Cloyster doesn't mind too much, though. It usually tries to just get its layers and get out of there. It's not too concerned about, about getting poisoned. It's not a Pokemon that wants to stick around for, for years or anything, is it? In comes Cloyster once again on the... On the Skarmory, threatening to rapid spin here. Can River fit a Gengar on this kind of team? I don't know. Usually the Skarm Celebi builds don't run Gengar. It's a bit hard to fit it. And indeed, a rapid spin. Enormous, erasing two layers of spikes. I think it's safe to call Big Will ahead in this position. Going Blissey on the lead sheet is kind of a disaster, giving Celebi a lot of health back. But, Celebi may be wary to stay. No. It's another Carmine Leech Celebi, which we've seen like three in a row now. Third set of the tournament. Another Carmine Leech Celebi. Imagine that. But Tyranitar can live this in probably HP Bug for a follow-up. But that Celebi got some unexpected surprise value after getting kind of owned early game. Cloyster, is it going to survive? I think it might be gone after the, the poison. No, I think it just lives on one. Getting one more layer for the road. And that might just be the difference maker. That The second layer is the least valuable. It's like plus 4% something more damage, but still. Damage is damage, folks. No, I don't think 9 p.m. Animal Crossing Wild World quite fits with the vibe here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to a different song. Gengar posing quite a threat. Gengar just revealed makes a lot of sense alongside Cloyster. You wanna spin block, don't you? And Big Will taking that opportunity to get Tar in one last time. Looks like it. he's got the faster one. Went for an earthquake. In comes a Moltres. Good move, bringing in the Moltres, which I think that was also unrevealed. Blissey stomaching that Hidden Power Grass like it's nothing, shrugging it off. A measly 10%. And in fact, that's a heal opportunity. Big Will's looking good, but... It's worth noting that the, the spinner is dead on Big Will's side. Skarm is now re-spiking up. Probably going to get a third layer. 
And this Blissey doesn't have Thunderbolt or anything too threatening against Skarmory. It's just hitting it with Seismic Tosses, which is bringing it low, but Skarmory has now established three layers, which is the most important thing. Big Will's Blissey is going to be under a lot more pressure now. So all of a sudden, things aren't looking as good as we thought for Big Willy. The Moltres, with the support of three layers, might just go crazy. And Toxic on the Tar could be Toxic Taunt. That would apply a lot of pressure to almost everything. Squeezing in Tyranitar one last time on the Paralyzed Jirachi. That is brilliant. Goes for a Focus Punch. On the Swamp, but that could be insane. That is so pretty significant. Oh, of a Tyranitar that was almost dead, you, you've managed to squeeze in. Basically bringing Swamp it all the way down to 13. I mean, wow. Way to just absolutely optimize the value of that Tyranitar. And Swampert was an incredibly important defensive piece. I mean, defensively, River is not looking good with this paralyzed Jirachi and a Swampert that is about to die. But can you wish up that Swampert? Maybe. Maybe. It's tough. Going for fire punches, trying to hit a burn on this on this Jirachi or something coming in. This paralyzing Blissey isn't that valuable. This is very awkward. Long term Jirachi eventually is going to get full paralyzed, right? It's going to happen. And also, Blissey eventually will get burned, forcing it out. You do successfully wish up your Skarmory. Alright, the Jirachi has managed to, to do quite a lot here. Now Skarmory's healthy again. That's good. Got full pirate though. That was bound to happen at some stage. A paralyzed Jirachi and Skarmory. Of course. This is so weird. Once again, can't quite put my finger on who's ahead here. The Gengar is a threat. And the Gengar's coverage is unrevealed, so it really depends on the Gengar's coverage. If it has HP Grass... Oh wait, the Swamp it's low enough that that doesn't even matter. The big thing is getting through Jirachi for Big Will. If Jirachi can get, get brought down low enough to, to the point of Gengar range, or if Gengar happens to have Fire Punch helping it in, in that scenario, that could be a way out for Big William. Blessy also represents a long-term threat. That was a good Toxic, though. And... In comes Tyranitar, who does have Toxic Taunt. I do wonder what the last few moves are. It's actually Protect. Might not even be Taunt, might be just Toxic Protect. Not commonly seen on Tyranitar, but can be good, of course. It does heal in the sand. It gets Chip Heal. And Toxicing the incoming Swampert. Brilliant. That could be game winning. It's faster. It's, pro it's protecting. Doesn't look like Refresh Swampert with this set. Probably Ice Beam last move. So this Toxic is staying. You can sacrifice your Swampert for more, more turns of poison. Bringing Swampert ever lower. And Moltres is now really in a good spot. Threatening to KO this Swampert. And Big Will just stayed in. You know, there might have been a roar on the Blissey. You never know. Now Big Will's looking like he is in some trouble. Is he as big as they say? I don't know. And this Wish Jirachi has, has kind of been the star of the show, I must say. Even with a paralysis on it, it is, it's providing a lot of healing to the team. It's a real superstar. And Big Will needs a damn miracle to break through the, this, these, 
these fellows from River. Big Will is going to need Divine Intervention. Multiple full paralysis. It, it, stranger things have happened. We'll see if it comes to pass. And there's a Fire Punch burn. That's going to force Blissey out. In comes Gengar. And what does the Gengar have on it? You know, it might have been bad to paralyze this Jirachi all along because the Gengar can no longer Will O Wisp the thing. Maybe the Gengar doesn't have Will O Wisp, but if it does, that may have been a miscalculation. I don't know. Paralyzing Jirachi is good too. It's a, it's a trade off. Another Fire Punch burn. And Serene Grace gives Jirachi good odds of hitting those over time, doesn't it? With 20%. It's not the most impactful burn in the world, you know? But it's enough to eventually force Blissey out. Maybe land the, the burn on this Gengar. There's a clear path to victory for River. As long as Paralysis doesn't come into play. That's the only thing. Let's go ahead and put this on fast mode. Just to see how it plays out. I think River's got this one. That one didn't burn. But you've chipped Gengar a bit. <laughs> that's, the, the, that's the last thing you need to do in this game. The last enemy. Is that Gengar. The final frontier. And this'll do it quicker. The toxic. That actually forces out Blissey pretty reliably, of course. No need to sit there with Jirachi for a hundred years when you can just toxic Blissey. You're going to force in this Gengar. It's going to take Fire Blast. It'll be lights out in just a moment, I'm sure. Unless you miss Fire Blast and Gengar gets a Giga Drain crit and then defeats everything. Or it gets a Dynamic Punch. It is Pursuit in the last slot there. What an interesting Tyranitar set. Very... Very custom Tyranitar. And I mean, with the Toxic, let's just skip to end. because And then there was a forfeit immediately. Because the, the Blissey will have obviously eventually fall to that Toxic. It was quite a, quite a lengthy one, but well played by River. And we've got the Rat on the field. The Smeagol. With a good lead matchup. The Slow Swamp had already asleep. That could be... That could be horrible for River. River choosing to play for Wake Up. And Big Will happy with one layer. And the momentum provided by Sleep and Explosion. Starting off with a very aggressive squad. Very aggressively. This is... And then correctly coming in on a ground type against the Thunder Wave. Surf on that. Could that mean a Deva Swamp? But that would make sense with the with the Smeagol and, and the fast pace. Endeavor Swamp it with Surf. That's my prediction on that Swamp it. And comes Tyranitar getting sand on the field, cutting that leftovers healing, keeping things moving. Good Leech Seed though. Leech Seed predicting this a switch in of some kind. In comes Salamence with Intimidate. This Metagross might have an agility opportunity, if it's agility Metagross, which I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Maybe it's not. But it does earn the KO on Magneton. Magneton's pretty happy about that though, getting 64% on Metagross. It was already basically gone. And not very useful in a non skarmory matchup, so you can't complain if you're Magneton, that's... That's good value. And that is indeed Endeavor Swamp It. With a Salak Berry, gonna, gonna pop that now. Now that you're already taking damage, might as well use the the resource. So Swamp It gets a speed boost and it can endeavor this Metagross, bringing it all the way down to very low health. And then in can come something like a Gengar. 
Metagross enters, and it's faster, so that's good. Own some chip heal while also revenge KOing this. Swamp it back in, trying to wake up again. Two turns of sleep, good chance to wake. Alright, just blow up, said Big Will. You gotta expect an Aerodactyl in the last slot then, to be honest. If you're blowing up on the Swampet, that's got a decent chance of waking up. I think an Aerodactyl is likely. And blow up again, might as well just trade it down and the arrow can clean up. As can the Tar, probably. Tar and Arrow, the classic Rock Spam Spikes, Hyper Offense type thing going on here. Dancing in the face of that Snorlax. No Focus Punch, just blowing up and you do live. Now, depending on the set, this Salamis could be faster. Dodges Rock Slide. That's not... That's not too relevant. And I guess it's up to an arrow last. This is a little awkward, though, because... Of course, Salamence can intim you, and you, you're only one Pokemon remaining. You got a Substitute on your side. That's good. Sub Leechy Arrow makes perfect sense. Gonna, gonna double edge instead of subbing. That might have been a genius level move because now only one more sub and you're in Leechy. And with the Leechy Berry, you get an attack raise. Goes for Rock Slide just in case. Oh my gosh, it flinched. Just in case the Mence wanted to come in. But it did flinch. And it flinched again. I actually thought that would KO. I'm all wrong. That was pretty lucky, I must admit. The arrow. Maybe that rock slide miss on Celebi was also more impactful than I initially thought. That damage may have may have played played into things more than I realized. But regardless, Big Will gets another shot here. And River in the chat said GG either way, despite being on the receiving end of some bad luck. So a good sport. And it was well played by Big Will overall, I gotta say. And it was a good team choice. But there was, a, there was an awkward end game there. Alright, so we're in a game three. And it's a sub... Tyranitar in the lead slot. River always bringing these bold choices for tar sets. Thunder. That's a classic boa tar. With thunder to hit the water types. And probably focus punch. Are you clicking it again? No, you clicked crunch expecting a switch out. Good recover by Big Will. That is a significant amount of health recovered. Right there. Staying it even. Why not stay in? Why not stay in? Why not now? Celebi doesn't mind getting toxic. It's got natural cure, of course. Oh, Fire Blast Blissey. You don't see that every day. That's unexpected damage. Big Will probably sweating a little bit. Celebi brought very low. Gonna have to exit. Hopefully there's no swamp it you need Celebi for. Looks like a Flygon in after all. Celebi could easily have recover on such a team though. Milo Celebi, usually a strong defensive core and a more defensively leaning thing. And we do see a Skarmory. And the, the rock resist of choice for River is Flygon also, not Swamp it. Worth noting. And it's Taunt Skarmory. Denying more layers. And it's Thief Skarmory. Wait a sec. Did that just not Thief the... That just didn't steal the item. What's going on with that? Thief just did not steal anything. Did Big Will by accident forget to put itemless? Thief has done... Has achieved a little... I'm a little bit I'm a little bit confused. Thief just did nothing. Maybe the, that was the Pokemon Showdown auto fill. Did you forget to put an item type thing? And then they screw over your whole plan. How could they? Well, 
That's unfortunate. Pretty much a wasted move slot on Big Will's Skarmory. A thief that does nothing. That would have been a huge thief if you got rid of Skarmory's leftover. But look, I think it still has the leftovers. Yep. <laughs> he still has him. Unsuccessful thief, folks. My gosh. Alright. I mean, I'm pretty sure River should have a bulky water here. Alongside Flygon, you kind of need support against, you know, Metagross and Salamence. In the form of some sort of bulky water, whether it be Suicune or Melodic or Defensive Starmie or something of such, such ilk. That's my prediction. Going for a Fire Blast, trying to potentially snipe the incoming Celebi or Skarmory. The Fire Blast Blissium serving the important purpose of scaring Celebi and Skarmory from hitting the field at all. Which is very valuable. And a Claydol is expected. A Claydol is very sensible. Could it be Refresh Claydol? Because it just took a Toxic. I mean, Zapdos having Toxic is not necessarily... 100%. Knowable. And an unfortunate critical hit on that Tyranitar, taking 91% on the way yet. My gosh. River said, my bad in the chat, of course. Now, imagine a world where this Skarmory was thiefed. We'd be in a different game. I still, I still can't believe that one. River establishing another layer, and with Claydol Toxic, I think River might have a leg up in the Hazard War, as well as having a, fl a couple spi Spike Immune Fellas. Three so far. I just, Big Will said, I just noticed Smoke Tours changed my Skarm back to Leftovers. So it was the, it was the team builder who did it. It was the damn team build, the sabotaging Big Will's entire life. That, that's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it. He just realized that. And his world has shattered. Dodging Fire Blast is nice there, at least. I'll say that's some cosmic RNG with the... With the, <laughs> the team build that screwed you over there. We could say Big Will got unlucky in, in, in a cosmic sense. And in-game, getting crit there, but, you know, last game. He got the, all those damn flinches, didn't he? Anyway... What's the last for River, you think? I'm pretty sure it'll be a Suicune. That's my... That's my two cents. On the matter. What could Big Will have in the back to save his life? Something fantastic. Something outstanding. Perhaps a Snorlax or a... a Dragon Dance Salamence would make some sense. Dragon Dance Gyarados might be. Be a bit of overlap with Milo, but stranger things have happened. Metagross could be possible. Doug Trio. And Taunt Toxic Scam is pretty brilliant here. Applying a lot of pressure. Big Will can refresh that one, though. It's faster than Skarmory. It is faster, so it's not worried about the taunt. In that particular situation. No. Looks like Celebi can 1v1 this. 
wonder if Big Will will choose to like recover here, predicting a switch out. No. Incorrect to do so. Correct to just attack the thing. So that's nice. You got a KO. Selby is under a lot of fire though. You, you can recover, but Flygon may have hidden power bug. You got to be wary of that. It's got fire blast. I think you could have you could have recovered and taken like 40-ish. You would have been okay, but you, you got to be frightened of HP bug, of course. So I don't... I don't disagree with the with the switch out. Thunderbolt just did 81 to Melodic. However, Big Will took that trade just to land a Toxic against this Zapdos. And Hidden Power Grass mid-ground, of course. Chipping Claydol quite significantly. Claydol can get one more rapid spin. And then it's lights out. The last better be something good, Big Will. It better be something big, so to speak. But Celebi can heal. Celebi is enormous in this endgame. Bleach Seed is good against everything. It is HP bug all along. River was was mid-grounding Celebi and Skarmory and maybe suggesting also no HP bug. But it is HP bug. And then you Fire Blast this time on the incoming sky. And shrug it off with leftovers heal though, so... Not a huge benefit to that. At the moment, Big Will has got a lot of... Oh no! <laughs> Went for something crazy. That's a... That's an... Un that's a crazy HP grass there, because the Claydol is gone. So you're specifically covering the last one, which maybe you realized was likely a Dug Trio. If so, that was a very astute Hidden Power Grass. If that's what you were considering, I mean, you could easily consider a Dug Trio last. Then I have to give, I have to give some respect for that play. That was a good one. That Dug Tree was unrevealed the entire game, remember? I think it was Big Will was trying to bring it in on the Thunderbolt, stall another turn of poison. And now Big Will is well and truly out of steam, I think. Skarmory even lives that, and then now it's just gonna chip heal a lot against this enemy Skarmory, which it can even taunt. Oh, Drill Pack! But it still lives on one! <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I think the last hope is the Celebi. The Celebi could just sit there and, and go crazy. In a long game though, I think that you can stall out all of the Leech Seeds. If it comes to that, if it comes to such a thing. And Skarmory's under major fire. Plus River still has a Pokemon in the back, which could easily be a Suicune, which would be fantastic here and pretty much just win. The Suicune would end it. Crazy it doesn't come out all game if it is, but... Whatever it is, it's useful to have another Pokemon, isn't it? Many have said this. Having Pokemon is good. And with just Milo and Celebi left, I don't know about this one. I think that Big Will is just riding it out. Just on the off chance of a miracle, which you should if you're, if you're competing for money here. Don't forfeit in such a spot. Maybe the Celebi makes a miracle. You, we've seen crazy games where one random Pokemon in the last slot. It goes to the moon and defeats everything. Never give up. But the, i got to say the odds are low. The odds are not good. And right here, this Zapdos is forcing out Melodic and forcing a lot of chip damage on the incoming Celebi. And then that was a good double back to Flygon, threatening Hidden Power Bug now. 
That might have just sealed the whole game, that switch. Big Will can recover, but for how long? And now it's over. As a simple Zapdos will seal this one. If, if an Earthquake crit doesn't. Unfortunate that the, the, the Thief did nothing. Because if the Thief went through, there was this was a different game. We have to acknowledge that one. We have to acknowledge that. But also, props to River. Some great players this game. And some creative sets on standard Pokemon. A couple of unique Tyranitar sets. Getting the intended surprise value. And that cannot be overstated. Thank you for watching, folks. Stay tuned for the next tournament sets to come. And I'll see you.